To celebrate Movember, I shaved my old mustache yesterday and then grew this one. Don't worry, I donated my old mustache to two kids in a trench coat trying to get in an R-rated movie, so. Just That's upcycling. Help, just helping people out. Elon Musk, AKA the ghost of executives past, lost two more high-ranking Twitter employees with the chief security officer and the head of trust and safety both resigning. Now, I know that sounds bad, but don't worry, it gets worse. The option to sign up for Twitter Blue has disappeared from the site after its blue checkmark feature enabled rampant impersonation of people and companies, like you can see here, and here, and here. And all over my Reddit feed. <laughs> ah, who could have seen this coming? Literally everyone, other than Elon. Well, now, after launching a second gray official checkmark to do the job the first one used to do, and then killing it, Twitter has brought it back but only for the real, really verified brands and companies. Solving problems over there. Well, moving on now to another story. Oh, actually, I, we got it. We got oh, more, the, yes. oh, there's more. There's wow. More, yeah, yeah. I am shocked and surprised. Musk has also decided to scrap Twitter's work from home policy, though exceptions will be made if Elon personally grants them. You know, Elon, if you made everyone work from home and you sold the offices, you may be able to prevent the bankruptcy you are warning your remaining workers about. Just a thought. But that's, that's silly me, you already have a plan for that. And I must say it is genius. Twitter can't go bankrupt if Twitter is the bank. And that's Your economics brain. 101. That's we learned this. Speaking of going bankrupt, the prices of many RTX 4080 models have been revealed and they are costly. Micro Center has 13 models listed on their site and only four are at MSRP. Asus's ROG- The R rest are less? The no. Oh. <laughs> Asus's ROG Strix model is $1,550, only 50 bucks less than a Founders Edition 4090. Oh, so that's how much the adapter costs. <laughs> <laughs> 50 more dollars for the chance to burn down my house? Sign me up. That could be worse. The 4080 could melt or something, so that's a silver lining. But it is $50 less, what a steal for Asus. In this scenario, you're being robbed. There are also rumors going around that Nvidia is going to re-unlaunch the RTX 2060 and 2060 Super after bringing a 12 gigabyte version of the 2060 into stores at the end of 2021 to profit from, I mean help, the GPU shortage. I mean, it's sad. The 2060 was the best budget Nvidia GPU at the time, even beating out the 3050 in performance. And it's the second most popular card, according to the Steam hardware survey from last month. Now, this true short king can rest in power so Nvidia can profit even more from overpriced 48s. True self-sacrifice. <laughs> DeviantArt, the internet's home for artists and tasteful yiffing, announced they are introducing DreamUp, an AI art generator powered by stable diffusion, which will also feature automatic tagging to clearly mark AI generated art. This is an interesting move at a time when other image platforms are banning AI art, but it's also interesting because DeviantArt creators will have the right to opt out of their art being used to train DreamUp as well as third-party datasets for other image generators, which is good for artists and would be even more good if all DeviantArt content wasn't already opted in by default. Thankfully, there's a super convenient Google form that will opt out your entire portfolio if you make it past a manual human review, assuring you you have followed DeviantArt's best practices and then wait 10 business days. Oh, and you better fill it out now because the form states currently will be approving this ability for free, which is corpo speak for it's about to not be free. But hey, if you don't meet the criteria or you're deathly afraid of Google Forms. I have focus. I just, they scare me. You just need to add the no image AI tag to your submissions individually. And if you've been using DeviantArt for years and have thousands of submissions, eh, one suggestion, uh, get now it's time for Quick Bits, brought to you by Brilliant, the hands-on, interactive way to learn STEM topics. It's like doing a secret handshake with Einstein, and at the end, you're smarter. Brilliant has thousands of courses with new topics to explore each month, like computer science fundamentals. Use Brilliant to augment your college education, or just use it to get smart, because understanding even just the basics can help you troubleshoot all kinds of problems. But if you need another reason, the first 200 people that head to brilliant.org slash techlink will get 20% off an annual premium subscription. So go on, get smart.
Hey, did you know in the UK, uh, Quick Bits are known as Quick Pulp? Mmm, cheers. Yeah, it's less appetizing. AMD launched their new Epic Genoa server processors, and there's 18 different models. Ooh. With the flagship Epic 9654 supporting 96 cores. AMD claimed that five servers powered by these big boys could handle the same load as 15 servers running Intel's last gen Platinum 8380 and use up to 54% less power. Is that where the 54 comes from? It's not unlimited anymore. Palpatine was wrong. Uh, no. <laughs> Meanwhile, details on Intel's upcoming Sapphire Rapid CPUs have leaked, indicating they might have fewer cores and lower clock speeds for more money than AMD's Janela. So, uh, <laughs> choke on that the spicy meatball, Team Blue. Bravissimo. <laughs> Google has stated it has evidence that three zero-day vulnerabilities found in newer Samsung smartphones were being exploited by a commercial surveillance vendor, which allowed them to gain read and write privileges at the kernel level, which they could use to access the device's data. It does sound delicious. I wish I had some kernel level exploits. This isn't the only exploit to be unearthed on Android this week either. Yesterday, a video was posted showing a way to unlock a Pixel in about a minute after inserting a pin locked SIM card. I guess Apple's eSIM only North American iPhone was a good idea? Tim Cook, good boy? Uh, oh, wait, the exploit has been patched already, so no, uh, it's, uh, it's still quite yeah. silly. If you managed to buy a PS5 at retail, Razer's got a great idea for how you can spend all that money you would have ended up paying a scalper. The Wolverine V2 is a chonky PS5 controller in the style of the Xbox Elite V2, but for at least $100 more at $250. That's what you pay for the RGB, baby. Yeah, I mean, that's worth half a console. If you want the Elite experience on your PS5 for less, well, Sony has a first party solution for $200. Okay, this seems expensive, but it's a small price to pay to find out whether your problem is the controller or, you know, it's just you. It's a, it, Get good, you're just, scrub. You're just bad. You're just, there's nothing, no one, there's nothing you can do. The Steam Deck has been the new hot commodity for a while, but one company is trying to reduce the heat just a smidge. Unitech is launching a dock for the Steam Deck featuring a thermal electric cooler they claim can reduce your deck's temperature by 20 degrees Celsius in five minutes. Plus, you get a front side USB-C connector and an RGB fan for only $30 more than the first party dock. This isn't an ad or anything. We just think that's pretty cool. That's, it's a steam dock. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Do robots scare you? Are you a stressed university student that doesn't need another source of anxiety at this moment in time? Yes. Not if the University of Texas has anything to say about it. Researchers Yeehaw. at UT Austin will be sending autonomous robots across the campus for five years. From now? Yes. To study human robot relations. A network and smartphone app will allow students to get free supplies delivered to them by the robot. Witness science in action as five people in lab coats watch you collect your delivery of, of wipes, among other things, from a robot dog. I'm learning, and I want you to take the action of coming back on Monday for more tech news. I'm not a robot, but I can still deliver the news right to your face without any scientist involvement at all. We got rid of them a long time ago. We don't need them anymore.